Hey gang, um, so we're gonna make masking tape shoes. So what you need to do is go in your closet, find a shoe. I found this one, um, sole, whatever. Um, don't pick sandals. I want you to do like an actual shoe. You can pick a sneaker, your chucks if you have them, whatever. Um, so what you wanna do is make a couple of these sheets here. Well, how I did it was I pulled the tape. Where's the end? Uh, all right. Sticky side up. And this will take just a little bit. So it doesn't stick to your fingers. Okay, there. And then just keep like overlapping it slightly. See how it's overlapped slightly? Okay, that's what you want to do. And keep doing that however wide you need to make it for your shoe. Okay? After you finish however wide you need to make it, then you're going to take tape and put it over the sticky part. All right, and so on. Slightly overlapping, all right? So then it's not sticky anymore and you end up with a piece like this, okay? So this kind of acts like, if you wanna think of it like material and we're gonna cut a pattern. So the first thing you wanna do is take your shoe, put it down, um, something to write with, and you're gonna trace your shoe. That actually showing up. Grab the marker. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, and I'm gonna cut it out. And this is my base. It's gonna be work on the sole. Fast forward me if you want. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Here's my sole. Yay. Next thing I want to do is I got to build up the sides because I have an edge here. Okay. So I'm going to build up the sides. So you guys have the wider tape. I do not have the wider tape. I only have this tape, but I can still make it work. So what I want to do is, and I have to do this piece by piece because we have curves. And I can actually put some slits in here so it curves. So I cut a slit in there so I can make it curve. And what I want to do is start sticking the bottom edge onto the shoe so I can build this sole up and just cut slits in the tape so you can get it to turn. All right. And then I'm going to keep working on that all the way around. So we have an edge. Okay. All right. So as you can see, I cut slits in the tape here so I could get it to curve without it collapsing on itself and getting all wonky. All right, so see how I did that? I did you know, a big curve, I put a whole bunch of slits. Same length, so you don't have your tape going like this and it's pretty straight edge, all right? And that's how I wrapped it around. So I'm gonna keep going on this and I'll see you back in a minute. All right, so I went all the way around doesn't look too bad. It's a little wonky here, but that's okay. We are going to fix that because 
with the bottom, how we have two pieces, we're going to put a piece on the inside. So we're gonna do the same thing we're cutting the slits so we'd get it turned, but in the inside and then tape these two pieces together. All right, so I'll be back in a moment. All right, I'm going around this part of the toe. So as you can see, I am cutting some slits. They're the same length. And they're probably about a mm, quarter of an inch or a little less, a little more than a quarter of an inch. But it all depends on you know where you need it to curve. So I'm gonna put these in here, whether it's a curved part or not, it's still gonna let me have some flexibility. So I'm gonna continue with that lined up there. A little tricky. And see how it's once you have the slits in there, it kind of makes it a bit easier to. Seems like I messed up on the bottom here. That's all right. And these aren't going to be perfect, but they're going to look pretty glare and cool though. on the edge that's okay I'm all right with that this is, this is something different you guys never did before all right so you see how I cut the slits so I'm going to continue and then we'll move on to the next step okay so I went around as you can see it's a whole bunch of little slits and it just makes it easier to connect it to the sole of the shoe and to the other piece of tape that goes around so I have my basic sole here Okay, if uh, you're doing chucks, you know the sole is a little bit thicker, so you're gonna use that wide tape I gave you. Okay, these are fairly skinny, so I'm gonna use this. Next thing I'm gonna do, make another one of these sheets, the width of the shoe, and I'm gonna trace it again because we need something to cover that for where you put your foot. So, you get a marker instead. I'm gonna trace this. Oh, and then I got tape sticking to me. <laughs> and again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay. Oops. Oh, that's a little wonky. All right. Okay. And then we're going to cut this out. Remember, this is a masking tape shoe. You're only allowed to use masking tape to build it. So how are we going to give some sturdiness or some substance in there? Yes, you guessed it. If you have a younger sibling, they can make you masking tape balls like these. All right. So I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to squish them a little bit because I don't need them super tall. And that is going to give me some thickness here. See how that's going and it's not really too much higher than my the top of the tape for the edge of the shoe through the sole there. squish them a little bit Oh, 
probably won't want to see any more masking tape for a while after doing this project. <laughs> Just need like two more, maybe three. There we go. And this is going to go on top. And I'm just going to take some pieces, tape it down. Okay. All right. Go on this side. So this is giving me a nice edge here, too. See how I cut slits like I did before? And then. Looking better on the side already. Okay, just have this little bit to go. So this section here, around here, has the most, you know, the most slits. So it's a big turn. here a little overlap and up to the edge of the shoe the sole I should say all right and then I go here and I fold these tabs in We just have that little bit to go there. That one doesn't look like we need any tabs. Maybe one on the end here. All right. Line you up. I guess I'll put a couple tabs in there. I'm hurt. go. Woohoo! Now, if you notice, this curves up a little bit. See how it curves up? And especially if you're going to do um, chucks, they definitely curve up. So how would I do that with this? Any suggestions? Oh, maybe we could take a piece of tape and curl it up like this, wrap it around. Or just bend it a little bit. And as we construct everything, I got that little lift now. There. All right. That's that. Now, put that aside. 
And like I said, you want to make a couple of these, you know, two for the bottom. Um, I made these two longer ones because hopefully I can make this pattern wrap around. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out the side here. So we have a little bit on the edge there, like right there. It's just all a pattern. So I have this. And it's going to go down here. All right. I have this. It's going to run off, but that's okay. I can add to it. All right. Now, here's the toe part. What I'm going to do, and you can do this different ways, it depends on your shoe. Um, I'm actually going to roll this. I figure it's gonna go about there. So I can at least go halfway. Right, and then here's the end here. See if that works. Was that all a little ball? That was my husband. <laughs> Everybody say hi to John. Hi, John. Bye. Bye, John. All right. That kind of looks like how it's supposed to look. All right. So this top part here, this part here, is actually going to fold over, theoretically didn't try this yet so hopefully that'll work but that makes sense right um, you can do it just the sides and then do a piece across the top um, I know the chucks definitely have that hard rubber part that goes up there you could definitely cut that out and put that for the top um, but you'll still need to come up on the front so you have to think of different just little different pattern pieces And if it doesn't fit right, then you adjust it. If you need to make another panel like this, you make another panel. It's gonna be trial and error, and that's part of the critical thinking part of this project. I'm not gonna tell you exactly how to do it. I want you guys to figure that out on your own. And this is the way I'm going to do it. So once I cut this out, I'm going to start taping the bottom part to the sole, and then I'll go from there. So it'll go on this side, the inside, and then I'll go from there. Okay, so I cut it out, but I decided, here's the edge of it, I decided to leave that extra because I'm going to use that for the tabs and I figured I'd want to put the tabs on the inside because I like the way the sole the edge of the sole is looking right now so then I put a cut a whole bunch of slits there and then I'm going to line this up and then I'm going to tape it in on the inside then this can curve in and then I can do the same thing on the other side okay so making a little progress here Um, getting this basic toe part down. I think I have to trim this a little bit more, but that's okay. This strap's gonna co come over. I'm getting this side and then I'll do the back. Once I get it all constructed, then I'm going to use longer pieces to make it smooth where it needs to be. And also, if you see here, there's like this piping. I'm gonna make that as well around where it is. And then the buckle and this tag and this hole here. Um, so if you're doing a sneaker, you have these little circle holes to put the laces through. I'll show you how to do that in just a little bit. So I'm going to keep taping along here and getting there. I'll see you in a little bit. Hi guys. So I'm back. It looks a little rough. Um, I had to actually 
cut a slit on this side to fold it in because it was like bowing out and I didn't like the way it looked. So it's coming along. I'm going to check my shoe. This is actually curved, so I'm going to trim that. That's pretty good. Um, and that's where the buckle is going to be. So I'm going to actually put some more layers in here. And I decided to alter this a little bit. Since I have this gap here, I think I'm going to put some piping. So I'm going to roll some masking tape stick it in there and then go over it with another piece of masking tape. So you'll see like um, piping that goes around that for where the shoe, the material part meets the sole. And I think that'll look a little bit better, you know, plus getting that to go down a little bit. Um, I'm also going to, and you guys have, like I said, have the wide tape. Um, you'll be able to make it look a little bit better, but I'm going to put strips across and make it look a little bit neater, kind of like this side. Um, so well, I'm gonna make the buckle now. So the buckle on my shoe, it's pretty much square, but we also have this tab coming up and then something coming up from that. So I'm gonna make the tab and it's all on the outside, so it just loops around. So I can use a scrap piece here. I'll make it the same, a little bit wider than what I have. That might not be wide enough. Uh, here we go. No scrap. So the buckle part, a little bit wider. And actually, I think I might even double this up some more. So let me cut to the size I need. So probably just the whole width of that. Cut this, I'll fold this. So I want it even thicker so it resembles. edge here. I'll fold it around. Stick that right in the middle. Got masking tape everywhere. Ooh. <laughs> That's a pretty nice thick piece to make my buckle. All right, so look here. It's pretty. Okay, now where's that straight? If you have an exacto knife, if you have a buckle, you can cut in there to make. Yeah, cut out that out or you can take the edge of the scissors carefully make a hole and then cut it out from there so I'm going to use an exacto knife cut this out and then I'm also going to cut the strap and then I'll show you how I'm going to assemble it okay so I have this just about cut out There's my buckle. So I also noticed that it's thicker on this end, so that's why I did that. All right, so there's my buckle. Now I'm gonna need a little strap. It comes just a little bit past the edge of the shoe. And it has to be 
be able to fit inside here. So it's a little wide. Maybe I'll cut a little bit off of this. if this will do. And just a little bit more. Okay. All right. Perfect. So, all right. And fold this in half. It's actually pretty accurate because it does come down a little bit here. So that's pretty good, I think. So I'm going to tape this together. Now I'm not going to tape it on yet because I need, I want to put more layers on here, make it look a little bit better. See how I cut to make it wrap around? Actually, I need to cut that off. And I can use that little piece later. Oops. Okay, there's my little strap. I, wanna, I don't want to press it closed because this one isn't, I still have to make that part right there, but I'll do that when I assemble the buckle. So that's looking pretty good. So I'll put this aside, this piece, there we go, now that looks better. All right, so I'm going to put this aside and then I'm going to put more layers on this, uh, shape it up a little bit. Um, don't forget about the piping. So I got to do that piping yet and make the tag. And, and then I'll be back to show you the final product. Okay, so now I'm doing the piping. And I did it back here and I only used two pieces, two layers. Like I just took one piece of tape and then cut it in half and then stack them on top of each other. But I don't think that's enough. So here... I took two pieces of tape, laid them on top of each other, then cut them in half, and then layered them again. So we have a lot of layers in here. So, but I think that looks better than that. So I'm going to continue here. And remember, every time you get to a curve, you got to put a slit in it so you're able to wrap it around. getting there. So see how it's a little wobbly? So I'm going to put a little slit there. Just tuck that down. All right, that's looking pretty good. Maybe one right here. See how it's waving? It's not waving, waving, but And now I'm getting to the corner here that I need to wrap this around. So I'm going to put a slit like that. Get the rest of this top part done. Okay. Mm. I actually cut this off. Continue it right here. There we go. Wrap it up here. Yeah, 
I definitely like it with the thicker tape. So give it some personality, you know, give it some decoration, make it look cool. And I already went around and put a second layer of tape up everywhere, except for the inside. I'll get that last. Okay, I am going to get that off there. Okay, we got a little bit here left. And that does not need a slit because it is straight. So that's my piping so far. Uh, I'm just gonna put one more layer around this. And then I gotta put the piping, I think I'm gonna carry it around this strap here. Um, so it just looks finished. And then we'll be back, I'll show you how to attach any kind of buckle and then also how to make a hole for those um, shoelaces. Okay, so before I finish the buckle and everything, let me show you how to make, you know, those little circles, like for laces or whatever. Um, take tape, obviously, <laughs> fold it in half. I actually do a couple layers because they stand out just a little. So maybe two pieces should probably work. Okay. And then I'm going to take my scissors, cut my circle however big I need to make it. So two pieces of tape folded on each other. And I'm making this a little bit bigger so you guys can see what I'm doing here. All right, cut your circle, dead center. You're going to cut that other circle. And if you don't have a knife, use the edge, the tip of your scissors, or even a sharp knife from the kitchen. You can put, at least put the hole in there and then take the scissors and cut the rest of it out. This takes a few seconds because I'm going through four layers of tape. Almost all the way through. Oh, might be able to punch that out. There we go. Okay. So if this is too fat, which kind of looks a little fat, you can actually then go and cut it smaller. we go. Now, how will you stick it on the shoe? Well, I'm not going to tell you that. I want you to guys to figure it out. There's a couple different ways you can do it. So as you're taking pictures for your steps, um, you can explain that. All right. So there's the little thing for the laces or the breather hole on the shoe. Okay. So I'll probably keep that little bad boy. All right. So Soon, you will look at the how to attach the buckle and the strap and all that. Okay, so now I'm going to attach the strap and the buckle I made. Oops, I actually go this way. Um, but first, I need to put some holes in this top part of the strap. So I'm going to put a couple holes so I can adjust it. The one hole that I really want is right there. So. Let me mark even amount of space just so it looks official. So I'm going to cut those three holes out with my knife. You 
don't have a knife, you can use the end of your scissors and then just wiggle it around. this one that I'm actually putting it in a little bit bigger just so it fits on there okay all right now I'm going to attach this and I cut some smaller pieces of tape just so it makes it blend in there to make it look pretty seamless all right so that's on which is good all right this is going to go here for the moment let me get this in i have to make it a little bit bigger here for now okay now this I'm going to tape like this I'm not I'm only going to tape right here because I need to be able to put the strap through this bottom part so I made smaller ones other side and this is mimicking that bar that goes across to hold all this together all right so I can still get the strap in there I can still put that there okay that seems to be on pretty good My strap through. All right, cooperate, would you? <laughs> there we go. All right, put the hole through the hole. There we go through this part of the buckle. And there we go. So not too bad. I'm just going to put some tape on the inside. No, actually that's not too bad. All right, so here's my shoe. I think it turned out pretty good. So hope you guys have fun with this project and I want you to take pictures of different steps that you do when you submit it on Canvas. All right. And that's that. See you next class.